Amen. We give God praise for another day, another day, another day that the Lord has kept us. We're here at um, WEHA Live, WEHA 88.7 FM and 100.3 FM on your radio dial here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Amen. And those that are listening um, via internet, um, you can listen at WEHA, uh, we have gospel.com or uh, you can look at our Facebook Live on my Facebook page or on our the radio station's Facebook Facebook page. Amen. We give God praise for another day, uh, another day that God has kept us, and we're here today. We're, we're going to have a um, a phone uh, a phone uh, interview, a phone uh, interview with one of my one of my good friends, um, Bishop uh, Sean Sewell's. Amen. He's going to come on in a little bit, but we're we're going to we're we're going to um, go forth with what God has for us today. We thank God. Amen. I'm sitting in uh, uh, once again for Dr. Diana Lows. Amen. The time of refreshing, sitting in for her. Um, this is um, this is uh, one of the most awesome shows that there is um, that there is um, that's that God has blessed amen blessed us with thank God for um, El Presidente <laughs> thank God for the president amen um, such a wonderful guy a, a wonderful spirit um, and, and and lady Hawks the, the Hawks amen two great people um, that we want to um, celebrate they're doing so many things uh, and, and 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 I like that in the kingdom when people have vision and the vision um, watch this the vision does not tarry um, because they have already waited that their, their turn so now it is full is full full circle of what God is doing Doing, amen for um, um, th this station and for Deacon Hawks and Lady Hawks and for what God is doing and um, so many things that they have um, circulating and going on um, they're busy for the kingdom amen so we we want to always make sure that we are a, a, a blessing to the station those of you that's watching um, Facebook live Facebook live and those of you that's on the internet some of our, our friends in London and in London London, England, and um, all across um, all across the world that that listen via internet. Amen. We're we're going to make sure that we are focused and we're going to amen be a blessing. Amen. Be a blessing uh, to this radio station. It, it, we we know that things cannot um, just happen without people helping to make it happen i know i know the lord doesn't need any of us to make it happen but if we can take a part to be a blessing uh, um um to some to some people uh, uh, to a cause that's bringing um that's bringing forth good fruit Amen. That's bringing forth good fruit. We can say that this station, the branches are not bare, but it's bringing forth good fruit, great fruit. Um, so we, we want to be a blessing, and we're going to talk about that in, in a few minutes. I'm going to go into the Word of God where we left off last um, last week. We was talking about um, our season, uh, the season shifted, how our season shifted, and for us to know um, what what was happening in this season um, uh, to 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 be in a place to understand that a lot of the blessings that we say that we're waiting on is already in our in our uh, it's it's already in our view it's already in our uh, in our circle it's already in our um, environment things that that we've been waiting and we say God I believe you and the Lord is saying your season already shifted it shifted it shifted already so uh, what what he's saying to us today and what we read last week in second kings the fourth chapter second kings fourth chapter we talked about the woman we talked about elijah if those of you that was on last week um we had about uh, um 2700 views on facebook live um those that have was was on with us last week and um those that are on this week tag and share it y'all know how you do on facebook tag and share it um but um we talked about elijah and how god blessed him um with the anointing the mantle and 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 the spirit of his leader uh and um, we talked about um how he 
encountered this first woman who was um, poor and she her, her husband had died and she was left with all the bills and she didn't know how she was going to do it and, and she, then, then uh, the, the prophet came by uh, and uh, and he gave her he, she asked him uh, she said I, I don't know how I'm going to take care of all this stuff and he said well what do you have in your house amen that's I'm just reca recapping of what uh, what we did last week all right um, and and um, he said what do you have in your house and then he began to say she, go out and get she said oh I got some oil go out and borrow some vessels if though I'm just recapping and 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 when she went out he said sell the oil she came back sell the oil pay your debt and live off the rest you and your children um, and we discovered uh, that uh, what God was it was doing um, with us is blessing us with enough to go throughout the rest of our bloodline um, to bless our children's children and our children's children's children and to be a blessing uh, all the way through our bloodline so uh, and then we after after he left there um, uh, he encountered another woman and her husband um, who had made on put a room onto their house for him to stay and he began to stay there y'all that remembered uh, um, the, he began to stay there uh, um, for for um, for for every time he came to the city he began to stay there and 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 she she told her husband let's build him a house put a lamp and a and a bed and all that kind of stuff for him so that when he comes he can he can chill at our house for a little while and 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 so um we left off last um last Tuesday my god we left off last Tuesday where where uh, uh the prophet um, told his adjutant to go call her and ask her um, what did she need from God because she had taken care of them so carefully and blessed them and fried all that good fried chicken and collard greens and stuff and <laughs> She he asked he told Gehaz I go find out what she needs and the Bible says that she, when she stood in the door come on those of you that was on last week she stood in the door and she said I don't need nothing I'm good I'm with my people I'm good I'm taken care of and the Gehaz I said she has no child and that was something that 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 really um hit her heart because she only only she knew her and God knew I guess and her husband because the Bible says her husband was too old to have to have kids I guess. <laughs> But 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 he promised her he prophesied to her that by the same season by the same season the same time in the next year she was going to have that boy and the Bible says that 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 in the 17th verse of the fourth chapter and the woman conceived bear a son and in that at that season that Elisha had said unto her according to the time of life so it happened so that's where we cut off last week where the lady the woman had uh, uh, had the baby <laughs> she had the, the child that um that the prophet prophesied now watch this this is where we're gonna pick up on uh, um, this week and uh, I, I think uh, dr Sue's is trying to call in I, I see a message coming up here uh, um he says he's trying to call i, I don't know call in again dr Sue's. um but um this is where um we pick up on, on this week is where the baby is, is 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 the guy the young the young man is 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 he got a little teenager he got a little older and um uh, um he he's now uh, um in a place where he he's with his father and something happens uh, um the, the bible never says that he had a stroke or all that kind of stuff but the boy started hollering something's going on with my head my head my head he starts screaming about his head is hurting and it's going through with his head and so he's he's screaming and hollering so the the father says well i can't do nothing take him to his mama you know how most of us men do <laughs> He said, take him to his mama. I don't know what to do. Take him to the mother. Take him. So they, they're running, taking the bo a, a, a boy to the mother. And uh, watch this. By the time that they got there, um, by the time they got to the mother, uh, the boy was dead. The boy died on the way. Oh, my goodness. He died on the way to the, to the mother. So so what happened was, now, now this is all in the Bible, y'all. I'm not making this up. You can read that fourth chapter, and you can go on through verse 18 all the way 
Uh, um, you can go all the way down to uh, you can go all the way to 44 if you want to uh, it goes all the way down and it tells a story how when the woman got she got panicky she got panicked she started panicking and she started panicking Sandy and when when she started panicking uh, uh, she she said okay just lay him in the house let take me she said get one of them 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 donkeys and she said saddle it up so we can go find this man we can go find the man. I want to find the one that gave me the prophecy. And see, that's how a lot of people do. But understand this. I was talking to one of my friends. He's on here um, this afternoon. We was talking about um, 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 prophetic words and people with prophetic words. And understand this, um, e, uh, Mac. There's, there's a lot of people that don't understand that there is protocol to prophecy. And I'm, I'm, I'm just going off a little bit to let you know that there is a protocol uh, uh, um, to, a, to prophecy, that when you get prophecy, that there's a certain protocol. You can't say, well, um, uh, uh, well, he prophesied I was going to get a house, and then, then, and then, but then you're not even trying to work on your credit. And straighten up your credit. So you, you come on, y'all. So if if there's if there's a protocol, that means that there is some kind of steps that's leading towards your prophetic destiny. Well, understand this. It's a it's 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 whatever it is. It's it's going to be some kind of measure that you have to take to that that that's in between. Understand this because if you, if you if you're expecting God to bless you with finances, and I always tell people this, whatever area you've been attacked in that's the area where god is getting ready to bless you in my god whatever area you've been attacked if it's in your body if it's your crazy family if you've been going through with, with, come on y'all talk to me on your job whatever area you've been uh that that big attack that's been happening that's the area you're getting ready to get blessed so understand so you you when we ask God for uh, well I need a financial blessing well you need a financial blessing learn to sow with what you got learn to sow into things and and, and, and visions and people and things that 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 God leads on your heart watch this that God leads on your heart to learn how to sow into come on this is a time of refreshing so so understand that 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 something it, it took place between this boy being born and he died watch this so now he's he's now laying in the house dead the boy is dead my mother just said dead as a doornail he was dead and she 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 said saddle up one of them one of them donkeys <laughs> One of them donkeys saddled up one, and and so we can get there. And so I need to see this prophet that prophesied this. I need to see this prophet. Come on, I need to see this prophet. And so when she when 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 she got to the prophet, now this is the part that blessed me, Kristen, over here, wonderful technician. She's full of the Holy Ghost. This is what blessed me. When she got to the prophet, he already knew she was in mega. Stress. She was stressed out. He already knew. He could see it. He could pick it up. Understand this. Prophetic ain't only a house and a car and a man and a wife and, and, and all that kind of stuff. That that prophetic is being able to be sensitive in the Holy Ghost. Watch this. To see beyond your smile when you really broke it inside. Prophetic. So when he saw her coming, the prophet already knew what was get, what what had already taken place. Watch, and and the Lord showed me this a couple of a couple of um, weeks ago. He said, "I'm at the point now, son." He said, "Well, I'm checking the response of the church." He said, I'm checking their heartbeats. I'm checking the response of the people in the body of Christ. He said, because, understand, he said, the, the prophet saw her coming on the, on, on the donkey, and he already knew she was stressed out. So he going he gonna to turn around and ask her a question. Is, is everything all right? Um, is everything okay? Now, he already knew everything wasn't okay, but he wanted to see what her response was. Good God Almighty. See, what God is doing in this season, uh, you guys, he's checking our response to the prophecy. Mm. He's checking our response because, see, a lot of us, we get prophetic words or we give prophetic words. And, and a lot of times when you get a prophetic word and you don't see how it's going to happen, your response to that prophetic word is very negative. Be like, well, I don't know how that's gonna happen, and I, I ain't got a dime to my name, and he talking about I'm getting ready to pay cash, but I don't know how that's gonna happen. It ain't for you to figure it out. 
God is saying, when I give you a word to, through my through my mouthpieces and through my men and women of God, when when I all you believe in the prophet. Come on. I didn't ask you to believe in the prophecy. Believe in the prophet. <laughs> and when you believe in the prophet, so shall you prosper. That that that's all you got to do. When you believe in a prophet, you're gonna prosper. So she she's coming to him and she and she they going through all this emotional stuff in the atmosphere and he said, is your husband all right? She said, yeah, all is well. Come on. He said, um, is your, is, is your, is, what happened? Is your, your company, everybody, your, 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 your adjutants, are they all right? She said, all is well. But then he hit that, that, that trigger. He said, is your son all right? And she said, watch this. Her response was, all is well. See, and this is what, I feel like running out the studio. This is what God is saying to us. He said, I need you to respond differently. That when I ask you something or when I say something to you, that your response is going to be all is well. Come on. Y'all need to put that on the screen. Come on, J. Todd. I see you on there, nephew. Put on there, all is well. See, even though it don't look like it, this woman had a dead son at the house and watched it. She saw the prophet. They gave her the prophecy, fathers of the son, and she said, all is well. All is well. I ain't sweating it. All is well. All is well, prophet. If you're a prophet, you already know what's going on. So my response is going to be to you, all is well. And I prophesy that to y'all, the guys that's listening on today, that everything that the enemy tried to do, I'm going to Genesis now, everything that he meant for your evil, I heard the Holy Ghost say this afternoon when I pulled up in this parking lot that he said, tell them I'm turning it around for their good. My God. So what does that mean? No matter how it looks, God is saying all is well. All is well. Come on. I dare y'all. Uh, come on. Just say it. Say it to yourself. Say it to your family. Say it to somebody that's been getting on your nerves. Say all is well. All is well. All is well. Watch this. What we what mm, in this season, we must understand, people of God, that God is checking our response. He's checking our response. He's checking our response to what we're hearing in the Holy Ghost and what he's speaking through his vessels to us. He's checking our response and how you respond is your response should be is giving God a praise and a worship in advance before it comes. My God. Understand what that does. It ignites the Holy Ghost. It ignites the atmosphere. Come on. Okay, not, not, uh, let's let's talk because a lot of people say, well, you know, why everything got to be Bible, Bible, Bible? Is he on? Is it Bible, Bible, Bible. Come, come on. Uh, everything got to be Bible, Bible, biblical, Bible, Bible, Bible. Uh, um, okay, well, uh, for, for those that are listening that may not be saved yet, um, uh, the, 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 what's called the laws of reciprocity. You know, I had to practice that a couple of times. So I went, because it sounded like you can really speak in tongues. Laws of reciprocity. <laughs> Laws of reciprocity says that, that whatever you call, that whatever you speak, the earth has to give it up. The earth. I have on my daishiki today. I'm, I'm doing my, my, my little earth talk today. <laughs> the, the, whatever you call, the earth has to give it up. So that's, that's, that's just saying, that's just saying, that's not even how, how you would say, if we want to say bi biblical, call those things that be not as though they were. Or whatever you speak, it shall come, into, it shall come to you. So, so he, he, he was checking the response of this woman, and he want to see if she's going to respond in distress, or she going to, oh, God. And I heard the Lord say, y'all got to respond in, respond in victory now. Change or respond. You already cried, broke. Things ain't working out. We know that. Amen. Come on. Move on. I always tell people, you're going to go through. Just go through. <laughs> go through, but don't get stuck. Everybody will go through. We're going to go through. We're going to go through. But the Lord says, don't go through and get stuck. So she, she responds. She said, all is well. All is well. So he said, uh, okay, all is well. Then I'm going to go, go with you and, and, and check and make sure all is well. <laughs> Respond in victory. That's right back. So, so she, he goes with her. He goes with this woman to the house. 
and he goes to, with this woman to the house, and we talked about the, one of this, this part last week. And when he goes to the house, we're going to take a little break in a minute. We're going to play uh, um, uh, um, um, my boy up all the way in California, um, um, De Deontay Duckett. Uh, we got his project in the studio this week. Last week we played um, Andre Bird. Amen. But we're going to play Deontay in a minute. And so uh, those of you that know him from GMWA, and uh, that's, our, that's, our, that's our up and coming artist out of um, Los Angeles, California. Um, but yeah, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to take a break. Um, um, but we're going to discuss what happened when the man got to the house when we come back. God bless you.
God bless you, friends. We are back. That was Deontay Duckett in Los Angeles, California. Come to the Fountain, his new release that just came out. Um, we thank God. Amen. Last week we played um, um, uh, Brother Andre Bird. Amen. We, 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 I, I love uh, networking. Um, I love that when other people get to hear other, uh, other people's projects and things like that. Um, and and I, I love that um, because I know Dr. Diana Lyles wouldn't mind that being played on her show. Um, but I thank God again, again and again for um, um, this, this time of refreshing and again for this radio station, WEHA. Um, radio 88.7 FM um, and also 100.3 FM on your radio dial. Amen. We we are we're we're going to be a blessing, uh, and and we they I know they have a campaign going on um, um, here at the at the radio station, but uh, we 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 the Lord gave me some numbers um, as far as not to play. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but the Lord gave me some 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 numbers, which is called a never ending. Um, he, t it was when I was coming home from um, um, Atlanta, Georgia, and I began to write on the plane. And he said that eight and zero. He said he said write down all your numbers. And when he said look back at the numbers that don't have no end to it, and I was like no end to it. And he said every other number you lift up your finger off, you lift up your pen from the paper. He said but the eight and the zero had to connect. It made a connection. And he said, everywhere you go, take it, take that eighty dollar seed, um, and and a lot of places that I go for the first time, and then I've been um, doing this seed for the last two years, sixteen, seventeen, eight, yeah, two years. Um, but those of you that that want to be a blessing, and we we did this before, and it was such a great outpour here in Atlantic City, here in the city. Those bishops and pastors that are listening, um, uh, we we wanted to be a blessing, um, and, and nobody asked me to do it, but um, we. I, I feel that we need to be uh, a blessing to this radio station. It has blessed so many people's lives. Um, it has blessed so many people, even in the UK, uh, all across in the UK, Dallas, Texas, everywhere that's listening on, on the internet that's outside of our perimeter. Okay, wait, that's a tongue twister. Perimeter. There you go, man of God. The, all the, the everybody that's outside our, our area that's been listening, um, internet. Now, um, if you want to sow, uh, we need we need as many as you that 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 can and will, will and can, can and will. My my son always used to say that. If there's some that can and there's some that's will and there's some that won't. Um, but I'm talking to the ones that um that can and will and be a blessing to this radio station um at eighty eight point seven FM um with that eighty dollar eighty dollar seed. Now I I let me say this because um I do believe in that whatever you believe in you ought to bless or you ought to sow to, especially when it's being a blessing um to someone else's life. Amen. But I, so I'm gonna come back on with the information where you can sow um on the we have gospel app or you can go on we have www.wehavegospel.com or you can sow there um you can sow you know sow your sow your seed uh to the radio station i want i want i want at least a, i want at least a hundred of us um to be a blessing i want at least a hundred of us hundred of us to be a blessing um or if you want to call it in you can call in your payment the 609 641 8870 uh, amen 609-641-8870 or you can go on www we have gospel w e h a v e gospel.com you can sow that way or you can make you can mail in your checks you can make your checks payable to we have uh, w e h a and you can P.O. Box 1674, Pleasantville, New Jersey, 08234. P.O. Box 1674, Pleasantville, New Jersey, 08234. I want all my friends on Facebook Live, those that's watching, uh, um, those that believe the word of the prophet, and you believe that God is going to do something through this seed, and I've had many testimonies, amen, on, uh, with places, various places that I've ministered, and this seed uh, has blessed so many people's lives, and it's come back a hundredfold, a thousandfold, and so many have gotten blessed. But 
just by obeying the prophet. The Bible promise, if you obey, you shall prosper. Amen. So we want to be a blessing. We want to be a blessing. I'm going to sow too. I ain't telling you to do nothing I don't do. The last time when we had, uh, we had a, 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 a sowing, we had people sowing, and the Lord laid it on my heart. He said a hundred dollars, and he said you sow the first hundred. You sold the first hundred to the station and the pastors and the bishops just coming by, dropping off their checks, dropping off their money, dropping off. And that's and I said, that's what I'm talking about. When you have somebody that's that has something major going on like this, this station has been a blessing to so many people. Um, that's when um, we ought to sow into something like this. We ought to be a blessing into something like this. And we ought to focus on uh, um, what God has called us to do. So if you uh, so my friends that are in Dallas that's on here the um, Houston Texas the, the UK uh, I see Virginia uh, uh, South Carolina those that are listening so you uh, some of my friends uh, over in, in Germany that's listening on the internet or, or, or on the Facebook live you so into this into this vision amen so into this vision tag and share this video too on Facebook live amen so into this vision amen so you can so 609-641-8870 or on wehavegospel.com or you can make your checks payable to We Have Gospel, P.O. Box 1674, Pleasantville, New Jersey, 08234. So that $80 seed, y'all. Come on, you know, you know that it's a blessing. It's a never ending seed. It's a never ending seed. And we're blessing God for Deacon Hawks and Lady Hawks and all of they're doing. Amen. There, there's a purpose out of all of this. And trust me, your seed is going into good ground, great ground. These are business people and they're really pushing. Amen. Dr. Dinah Lyles will be back with us next week. She will be back on the air next week. Amen. Keep her in your prayers. She has an extensive, extensive of calendar amen i know she's ministering twice here um at the revival uh, over with um dr john howard uh, and those over there uh, i think it's new hope i think i hope i got it right but um, um we, we want to be a blessing and go support amen support the ministry this week all week there in the revival a whole month ain't that something revival a whole month and the people come out the, the, it's, it's awesome awesome move of god but we we thank god Amen. We left off a few minutes ago talking about this woman that that went to the prophet to tell her that her son uh, would know she didn't actually go to tell him she went to go get him. And when he saw her, he already knew that there was there was there was something going on. So Sue's Su is on here. Sue's call. Try calling in a radio station again. I'm sorry. My guest that supposed to be on. And I see him on my live now. Uh, um, is this is this number here? Amen. So call on to 609-641-8870. 609-641-8870. Call in now, Sules, because I need to put you on because I'm, I'm, I'm finishing up on this, this biblical um, study here. Um, but uh, we, 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 she, she finds the prophet and the prophet wants to know, he said, what is, what is your response? What God is checking our response. He's checking our response in this season to find out how are we going to respond to something that looks like there's no hope. And this woman went to the prophet and she already, she already knew he knew what was going on. So when, when he went to her, watch this. He said, is your husband all right? Come on. We just recapping a few minutes ago. She said, all is well. Is your servants all right? All is well. You got food in the house? All is well. Come on. I'm just bringing it up to date. You know, is your food stamp card up to date? All is well. <laughs> Come on. So she, he, but then she hit, he hit the trigger spot. He said, is your son all right? Now, come on, y'all. You, 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 you know, you know that the son wasn't all right because he's home dead. So the man of God said, well, I'm going to follow you home to make sure everything you're telling me is so. So when she got there, she couldn't help but to tell the prophet, my son died. The one that you prophesied and you told me that I was going to have him. I had him and he's dead. 
Good God Almighty, he's dead. And 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 she 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 walks in. She she walks in to show the prophet, and the prophet comes back. Now this is for all the nosy folk that be in your business. And I always say this, and I, I posted this today on Facebook. I said people can only um, people that knew you then can only say something about the person who they once knew. Something like that. I'm just paraphrasing it about the person that they used to know. They only know the person they used to know, but they don't know the person that you are now. And so I and, and so I ended it off in saying, stop letting spoiled relationships destroy your destiny. Stop letting spoiled relationships. Come on, some of us are in spoil, and that ain't only boyfriend and girlfriend and all that. It's friendships. Some spoil. Stop. Stop being in spoiled relationships that are that is ruining and stopping your destiny. You hear me, Kristen? Stop. Don't let people take advantage, and and because they take your niceness, your kindness for your night, your night, your, your kindness for your weakness. You see, he said it just keeps ringing. I don't know. Is it lighting up? Oh, you see. Oh Lord, I I don't know, Sue. We we <laughs> we gonna get together because uh, we even if you gotta come on next week with um Doctor Lows, Amen. Um, I, I I don't know too much about all of the other technic technologies of it, but um. But we, we, we want to uh, um, um, know that when the man got to the house, the man shut the door. And I, and I wanted Susan on this part because he was talking about when he was on this interview here um, a couple, two weeks ago with Bishop Gandhi. And, and Suze touched on that. Suze touched, too, when he was in here talking, giving his testimony, how God... Oh, I, I, I gotta let him. I gotta let him get him on this show. Um, how God? Uh, how the when 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 the woman brought brought the prophet to the house, and and the prophet went in, but but he didn't just go in because he watched this. Uh, Mama Beverly, all the nosy people that was peeking. Come on, y'all know what they do. They was doing. They was out there looking. Is he dead? He dead. She done had that boy. And he died. They looking. Y'all know how folks gossip and judge and got to say stuff because everything ain't looking right for you and, and it's looking not and it's not looking good. You know how people do. They start judging. They start putting their mouth on your miracle. The devil is a liar. So 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 under understand this. Understand this. He she's looking and and, and people looking and. The prophet, he's looking and he goes and he, the Bible says this clear, clearly. He shuts the door. And I keep telling people in this season, this is why I gave you that, that little, that little, that little um, uh, um, snippet what I put on Facebook. People, you got to shut the door on old things, old people, not old people like that, but old people in your life. You got to learn how to shut the door and keep it shut. Stop opening the door for people that, that's, that keep using you when you have something and then they want to hang out and be your friend and then when you don't have nothing, then you, they, you can't find them and they know where to be found. Well, what happened? <laughs> what happened? And I, I, I always used to say that all the time, uh, if you're taking a ride in somebody's car every week to church, somewhere in there you ought to offer them $3. Four dollars. Come on, y'all. Be a blessing. Some don't just keep on riding in they riding in the car every week and you keep riding to and from church and don't say, Well, let me give you four dollars on gas. And every time you get in the car, oh I forgot my credit card. I forgot my debit card. Oh well, we're gonna turn around, yep. Yeah. We're gonna turn around and we're gonna go back so you can get it, Gladys. <laughs> we're gonna go back so you can get it. Amen. No, you left it on purpose. The devil is a liar. You left it on purpose. So you got to learn how to pour back in. This woman of God, uh, Dr. Maria Vaughn, had an awesome, awesome uh, function on Saturday night uh, out the palace out in Blackwood, New Jersey. And, and, and when you looked, they was bringing in chairs. It was a thousand over thousand. She said the room held 700 and they brought out 200 more chairs. Come on. So she just honored a whole bunch of us leaders and pastors and people and men and women of God that has been in the gospel and those that are musically inclined. I got five I got five awards. Hey. I thought it was just one at the little pre 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 service, pre thing. And um but but my I'm saying that to say sometimes it's good to say thank you. And 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 so she she knew that the prophet already knew. He got there, he shut the door on all the naysayers. 
I'm talking to you guys out here that's listening today. Before this season is shifting again, before the season shifts again, he said, shut old doors. Now, some of you have shifted already, but you have not shut the doors. You carry some of them old folks or old wine and new wine skins. Let, let people go that have not, that have, that, that, are t that watch this. Let your liabilities go so God can bless your assets. You hear that? Because some folks are just a liability. Every time you come around me, all of a sudden, I'm broke. I ain't got a dime. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no money. And I, oh, I'm just broke, 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 broke. I'm just broke. That's all they song sings. And before you know it, you pick up that spirit. I'm broke. I ain't got no money. I ain't got, and, and I ain't got nothing. I'm broke. You start picking that up. You start, and that's that depressing, draggy, laggy spirit gets on you. The devil is a liar. Get up from there and shut that door. Shut it. The prophet said, I got to shut this door so that those that are on the outside will not be nosy and looking on the inside. So he gets up and he closed the door. He said, because the Lord gave me specific instructions. He gave me things to do. He gave me instructions so that I can follow through with getting this boy to live again. Ooh, come on, come on, y'all. This is enough prophecy in itself. This is enough prophetic word in, within itself that some of your children are spiritually dying. Some of your children are spiritually dead. But the Lord says, as a prophet of God, he said, I put prophets in your life. And if you're some of you are prophets, he said, I've given you specific instructions, shut the door. And he said, now it's time for you to prophetically work in the Holy Ghost. The harvest is right, but the labor is a few. So whatever whatever God has called you and anointed you to do, stop being lazy and get off your seat or do nothing and, and, and allow the Lord to use you in the area that he's called you to, to, to be in. And stop letting people push you to the, to, to the, to the, to the back burner. Mm, come on. Stop putting, making people push you to the back burner. Watch this. That's right. Your liability. I see people saying your liability and your assets. That's right. I said it. <laughs> understand so understand this he shuts the door the bible says he spreads himself over right like over the boy the boy's lying there dead dead he's dead he's dead he's lying there dead come on think about it that's like some of our children that we know they dead they dead spiritually. They don't understand. They 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 think that uh, it's corny. But but I'm telling you, there's a there's a group of millennials, um, and the group of young people and the millennials that really have a focus in this season. They're getting houses. They doing. They they focus. They buying them houses. They doing what all that they got to do, you know, to get their blessing and get their miracle. Watch this. So he gets over. He gets over the boy. And the Bible says that he he puts his eyes to his eyes. Come on. I see you, Sharif. He puts his eyes to his eyes. And, uh, and, okay, let's stop there. Stop hanging around with people that don't see what you see. Come on. This is this is all prophetic, y'all. This is all this is all prophetic. Stop hanging around people that don't see the same thing you see. That's I just finished saying that. When people say and talking negative, don't hang around them people because that spirit it, it gets off, it starts rubbing off. The devil is a liar. So he said, now, he, the Bible says, now he puts, the, when his body's open, he put his, his mouth is to his mouth. I did this, I did this um, example um, um, one time at our church. Um, I did this example in New York. I, I used my son and my grandson because that was like his, his son. So I used my son and his, and his son, which is my grandson, and I had him to do this, this, this uh, demonstration right in church. And, and so then, and then, and then when, he, when his mouth went right in front of his, he said, the Lord said, stop hanging around people that ain't speaking the same thing. Come on, y'all. This is what it happens spiritually but, but to, to show us something that was getting ready to happen naturally. God Almighty. So so understand this. The, the Bible says that when he did that, when he did that, something happened in the Holy Ghost. See, you got to already understand that there has to be an expectation of God instructions that he gives you. There has to be an expectation to the instructions that God gives you. Don't just do, well, I'm just doing it because the Lord told me to, you know. No, you got to understand that there's going to be some kind of blessing, some kind of miracle, some kind of outcome out of the instructions that the Lord 
instructs you to do something, you got to understand that there's going to be a great outcome. Come on. You, all is well. When this woman, when she, when, he came, when she came to him, he kept on asking all these questions. And she said, all is well. I see you, Bishop Apostle Phelps. All is well. All is well. He said, okay, all right. Well, you, you saying all is well, then we're going to believe God that all is well. The Bible said that the young boy started sneezing. He said, he, he woke up. God, oh my, can y'all imagine that feeling? Because see, see, I, I look at the Bible like a whole story. I'm like Bishop Jakes. I see it as a movie, a story. So it all comes out to me. And I, I said, can you, can you see this miracle? Can you see that this boy coming, sneezes and coming back, to, he was dead. Coming back to life? That's what God is saying to some of you. What was dead is getting ready to come back to life. My God. He said, well, all you got to do is shut that door, get the right people that's going to see the right thing and, and talk the right thing and being, come on, keep negative folk out your ear. I see you, Nixon. Keep folks out your ear that don't mean good. Watch this. In the Holy Ghost and in the natural. See, we got to keep balancing that thing. He said, on earth as it is in heaven. So that means that things got to be balanced in the spirit as well as, mm, as well as in the natural realm. Because watch this. When you go in the spirit, you bring out things from the spirit into the natural. So he's saying, understand, I got to work this spiritually for you to have a natural outcome. So the boy sneezes, the boys, the boy sneezes, watch this, he sneezes and he comes back to life. We talking about your season just shifted. Well, we, 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 we talked about it last week from the two women. Now we up to the finishing of where the boy that was given. For those of you that's coming on, just listening. For the the boy that was that that was given to the lady that that said she didn't want nothing, and he blessed her with a child, and the child died. And within that time, he, the the prophet had to come back, and the the, the boy came to life. Let, let, let me tell you something. You you ought to, if you don't know Jesus is real in this season, you you better get to know him, and you better know like never before that God God watch this. He's a healer. God is a way maker. Come on, I'm, I'm sounding like the older, the seasoned saints now. He's a way maker. He's a heavy load sharer. Hashate. He's a heavy load sharer. He's a mighty burden bearer. He's a wheel in the middle of the wheel. And, and, and I always say this. I said I wish we could really trust the church to go back to real testimony service, where the folks used to get up and say, "I thank and praise God." Hallelujah. I thank and praise God that my bed was in my cooling board, and I, He gave me activities of my limbs and woke me up this morning and start see. This woman had a real testimony now. That's what I'm saying. Where are you going with it, Bishop? This woman had a real testimony. Why did you, could y'all imagine this? She went and opened that door, and the door that was dead, that everybody was gossiping and talking. He did, he did. She opened that door, and the boy was standing next to her. I bet, they, I bet them people thought they saw it. I bet they said, what in the world is going on? No, I'm going to make a believer out of you. Uh, you got to see that Jesus is real. Come on, say, Jesus, Jesus, he's real. He's real down in my soul. Come on, don't get me started. You can't make me doubt him because I know too much about him. <laughs> so understand this, believers. Understand this, that, the, that even after the boy came back to life, there was so many um, different, there was another shift that came and shift that it kept on coming. To, um, to, when you believe God and you believe God through whatever you're going through and you believe God through and, and you can say all is well, I just lost my job. What are you talking about? All is well. I just lost my house. What are you talking about? All is well. I just, I just, my bank account just got cleaned out. I don't know how it happened. All is well. I just lost my purse. All is well. You see, your, that's, your response is what now? Well, oh, God almighty. Your response, thank you, Holy Ghost. I hear God speaking out there now. Your response is what now confirms what your outcome will be. See, God wants to see a lot of us how we're going to respond to see what I'm gonna, how I'm going to do it at the, by, by the time it's all over with. I'm already going to work it out, but I need their response to be all is well. 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 That's all I'm going to say. All is well. And th this woman got blessed her son. She, she said, I know he's real. 
I tell this story all the time, um, um, Sister Kristen. I tell this story all the time, uh, a lot of places I go, because um, people need to know Jesus is real. And I was uh, in the barbershop, and, I, and I, this happened uh, some time ago. I was in the barbershop, and this guy was, he was just talking about, you know, whether Jesus is real or not and all this stuff. And he was going back and forth, and, you know, and, they, and I sat in the chair because I was getting, you know, I was getting my head shaved and all that. And I, was, I didn't really want to take part of that conversation because they were arguing. And so this guy was like, well, I'm a 5%er now. I, now I know plenty of people that was 5%er. One of my sons, Bishop Rasheen Brown, was a 5%er. And when the Lord had me to prophesy to him in the service, I told him, well, you're going to get the other 95 today. <laughs> <laughs> we tell a story where we go. He wouldn't say, he was looking at through me through them dreads. And I, and I told him, I said, go sit on the pulpit. He was coming for another reason. He wasn't coming for church and all that. His mother tricked him because he, she's going to buy him a car. So he came to church, amen, so he can get his car. So, so the the Lord by that next year he was pastoring. Then the next year, and then a couple of years passed, and I went and preached for him. And when I when I was walking out to go and change, he said, "I know who my father is." And the Lord birthed him out. Has a wonderful ministry up in New Britain, Connecticut. Awesome him and his wife Bridget, who she claimed that was her husband when he wasn't even thinking about her. <laughs> She kept on saying, Bishop, Rasheen is my husband. Please tell him. I said, Bridget, if you say God said that's your husband, you believe God. And she believed God. She waited on him. Y'all ain't talking to me. <laughs> so uh, uh, I was sitting in the barber shop, and they said, uh, you know, Jesus ain't real. Jesus ain't real. Jesus ain't real. Jesus ain't no such thing. And then so, so I was quiet. So then the man of God came in, and he all loud, Bishop, you ready? And I was like, oh, my goodness. He just he just blew me up, as the kids say. He threw me under the bus. And when he threw me under the bus, everybody in the, in the barbershop shop looked in my direction like, oh, shoot, you a man of God, and you sitting here all this time, and you ain't said nothing? So the guy that was had all the mouth jumped up in my face, and so I had to pray. I said, Lord, uh, please don't let me go back to whence, from whence I came because I, I used to like to fight. <laughs> So he came over to me. He said, "You know Jesus is real." You said, "You said your Jesus is real." I said, "He sure is." He said, "Well, how you know he's real? Can you see your God?" So I'm looking. He said, "Can you put your God under a microscope?" I ain't say nothing. He said, "Can you put your Jesus in your hand?" I bet you can't. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking at him. I'm like, uh. So he said, exactly. So he went down the other side of the barber shop. And so about a couple of minutes later, about 10, 15 minutes later, he's screaming and hollering. The, the apron around his neck going all over the place. He hollering, holding his face. So I told, I told the guy, I said, I said, Una, it was a Dominican. He said, I said, un momento, papi, un momento. I said, what's him? What's wrong? He said, oh, no, no, it is teeth abscess. And something happens. Like he called ambulance. He has to go to hospital, you know, it's his teeth. I said, okay, I'll be right back. So I went down on the other side of the, 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 the barber shop, and I got in his face. And I said, well, how do you know your teeth is hurting? He said, what? I said, how do you know your tooth is hurting? I said, can you see your tooth hurting? He was like, no, come on, man, come on. I said, can you can you put your tooth under a microscope? He said, no, come on, get out of here, man, come on. What is your point? I said, can you put your tooth in your hand right now? I, I put the same questions back to him. Watch this. So I said, how do you know your tooth is hurting then? He said, what? I said, how do you know your tooth is hurting? He said, because I feel it. I said, well, the same thing with Jesus. <laughs> I said the same thing with Jesus every time I call on him I feel him down on the inside I feel him moving I feel him working I feel him making ways out of no way I feel him I feel him moving he said oh my God he, he started screaming I said that's how I know Jesus is real when you call on him he answers your prayers when you call him you can feel him in the midst of you let me tell you this let me tell you all this and let me leave you with this word and we, we've been teaching this for the last two weeks your season just shifted Everything in your life has shifted around. Understand, he taught that first woman last week stability because he asked her, what did you have in your house? He taught, no, watch this. He taught her stability. He said, watch this. He said, because what's in your house is going to bring your miracle. Capacity, he said, now, watch this. Go, go borrow some vessels, borrow not a few. He said, so capacity, stability, then he taught her prosperity. 
good God from a burning bush because that means that there was the overflow. So he said, go pay your debt and you and your kids live off the rest. Come on, y'all. Understand that. And then when that, he encountered the other woman, the other woman already had money. How do you know that, Wally? Because she told her husband, we're going to build him a west wing. We're going to build him a west wing onto the house so he can chill. Every time he come, I'm going to fry him some good chicken and macaroni and cheese, taste salad, collard greens, candy, and I'm going to hook him up every time he come over. Amen. And I'm going to be a blessing to him. And then he asked her, what do you want? She said, nothing. He said, no, no, no. Uh-uh. There's something you want from God that you ain't told nobody. He blessed her with the son. The son died. The son died. And then he had to go in. And when, he, when she went to get him, he asked, how is everything? She said, all is well. All is well. When he got to the house, he said, okay, I just want to check your response. All is well. I'm going to check on your son. He, the son was dead. He went in there, shut the door. The son came back to life. God, oh my God, look at your neighbor and say, your season just shifted. <laughs> I ain't got no neighbor, Bishop. Well, well, then those of you that ain't got no neighbor, say it, look in the mirror. Say it to yourself. My season just shifted. My season just shifted. We thank God for a time of refreshing. Thank God for Dr. Diana Lyles. Thank God for the station. Those of you, amen, that, that still want to be a blessing, an $80 blessing, $80 seed, never-ending seed, amen, never-ending seed. You can sow to the station on WEHA, we have gospel.com, or you can call in your, your financial um, 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 blessing at 609-641-88. They go to 88, wow, 8870. Or you can uh, mail checks or money orders to P.O. Box 1674, Pleasantville, New Jersey, 08234. P.O. Box 1674, Pleasantville, New Jersey, 08234. Be a blessing to the station. Amen. Continue to keep um, uh, Deacon Hawks and Lady Hawks in your prayers. The WEHA radio station and 100.3 FM on your radio dial. We're going to close today with a prayer. And stay tuned next week. Dr. Diana Lyles will be back with you next week. She will be here in the studio. Amen. With everything that God has given her over these weeks. The, um, these weeks and everything that God has poured into her, she's getting ready to pour back into us. Amen. Bow your heads. Father, we thank you. Right now, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Thank you for this time of refreshing. We give you praise for this, this uh, radio show uh, and, and those that have been blessed through this radio station. Thank you for all of those that will sow and all of those that will sow into this vision, that will sow into this station, those that will be obedient by the Holy Ghost and sow the never-ending $80 seed. I speak miracles, signs, and wonders, over, uh, especially over every seed that's sown today into this station. Father, I thank you that it's not stony ground. I thank you, God, that, that it's not a negative place that we're sowing, but we're sowing into good ground. And, Father, that you will show us a hundredfold return in the name of Jesus. Father, right now, as we, we come to you, we ask you to continue to bless us throughout this week. Heal the bodies of those that's experiencing things in their bodies. Set free, heal, and de deliver, Lord. Bless those that are experiencing sickness in their bodies. We bind the hand of Satan in the name of Jesus. We bless ev everybody that's dealing with whatever, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, sugar diabetes, uh, sciatic nerves, whatever they deal with, colitis, whatever, Father, whatever that they do, migraines, allergies, we, we cover, Father, everything that, uh, that, that they're dealing with, we ask you to touch their bodies right now in the name of Jesus. We believe you, God, and we believe you for a mighty healing this week. And our God, I believe you that this will be the week of the devil's defeat thank you for victory thank you for the victory reports bless every ear that's listening bless everybody that's on facebook live that's watching father thank you for the people of god that has taken out their time to sit and listen to understand today fully that their season just shifted now god we give you great praise honor and we give you all the glory Thank you. And we plead the blood of Jesus. Bless Dr. Lyles. Father, thank you for this show. Bless Deacon Hawks and Lady Hawks for this radio station. Bless all of those, God, that you will have.
have and lay upon their heart to sow that $80 never-ending seed into this station. And we give you glory. We give you honor. Bless these children that's gone back to school this week. Bless all those that are working in the school system. Thank you, God. Protection. Put a hedge of protection around them. Give them the spirit, the, 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 the spirit to learn and to, uh, to pay attention and to, to, to lay aside all the distractions in the name of Jesus. We bless you and we give you praise and honor and glory. We leave this place today, but we don't leave your presence, but we thank you for your glory. In Jesus' name, and we give you glory. Father, we bless you. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, everybody. Tune in next week. 88.7 WEHA. It's more, more than music. It's ministry. Don't.